Hi guys, welcome to Maria's Ideas Teaches Us to Paint, where we follow the pickle to learn how to paint. If you're a first time painter, that's fine. Everything is step by step. This video is just a short tutorial to show you how to draw the design if you do not get the art kit through us, which are only available uh, for pickup at our studio. So we film this show once a month at Jono's Art Studio and Maria's Ideas in the Southside Slopes of Pittsburgh. So if you ever buy, check us out and um, see what's happening. So this is for episode seven. I designed, this is what we're going to paint in the next, in the video of the show. This is just the, the uh, sketch if you don't have the art kits. And this design was created, I designed it for our special guest. So you'll have to watch the show to see who that special guest is. So let's get started. This is an 11 by 14 canvas panel. You can use a canvas. A stretched canvas you can use paper you can use anything you choose this is what we like to use they're easy to hang with an office uh, binder clip if you don't want to frame it and there's no bounce with the camera when we film so that's why we like it so let's get started and this is what we're going to draw here's our little pickle pointer our little Heinz pickle so we're going to paint the cat in the like I said in this show in the episode but we're just going to draw this and we're just going to start with some very simple um, ovals okay so you can make this in proportion to your piece I want this cat to be quite large let me move him up here I want him to be quite large so I'm looking at his his nose is somewhere a little bit to the left of the center and maybe about halfway up so somewhere in there and that just gives me a point of reference so what I'm going to do is just lightly just really lightly sketch it and then I'll make it a little darker so you can see it so I'm just going to draw an oval okay so there's an oval make it a little darker so you can see it now when you draw yours at home I'm using a watercolor pencil so that it will just melt right back into the paint. If you use a standard pencil with the graphite, some of those lines may come through your paint. So I use a watercolor pencil and I would do this very lightly. I am doing it darker so that you can see it, but that's what I prefer. So you can do whatever you, you feel comfortable with. All right, so that represents the head and we can adjust it as we draw but let's just get that point of reference here and then I'm coming down like this this is her beautiful fur and then this is the body here and then her leg now in here this little dot that I thought, you know, assumed that, okay, maybe that's the nose. I'm going to adjust that. I'm going to put a little chin mouth and I'm going to pick two circles. So I just did something like a little smiley face there in two circles. And then this is, this looks pretty close. It lined up pretty close. So that is her little face or cheeks okay so I just did those two circles in here at the lower portion of this oval and this may the shape may be a little off but again we're just roughly sketching to get the placement of everything and then the eyes would be off to the side of each cheek a little bit smaller do this this way and then we can come in and do something like that. The pupils we can put in when we paint. You can draw them if you choose to, or you can just add them with the paint. And this eye is a slightly higher because her head is tilted a little bit. All right, and then the ears will come up like this. And that's the other part of the ear, and then the head, and then this just little triangles and that's your kitty cat's head the markings the fur all of that we'll put in whenever we paint so her fur is really big beautiful collar I guess it would be maybe a collar fur. 
and then so that's just to give you an idea of where they're going and then this would be we would taper this in a little bit here whenever we paint that has those dark colors in here and there's your kitty cat the 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 flowers I usually just add something like that the flowers around her you can do it as many or as little as you'd like you can mix different colors uh, also but I'm going to just paint them on if you want to put a little circle maybe where the center of each flower is going you can do that just for just as a reference point where your flowers are going we'll paint the background first and then we will come in and do the cat and then the flowers last so there's your kitty cat so this is episode um, seven of Maria's Ideas Teaches Us to Paint. So hopefully you'll check back and watch the show and see who our special guest is and my wonderful co-host, co-producer, Alan Levine of Alan Levine, The Talking Machine. So you can also watch this on BPTV. Uh, the sketches are not on there, but the actual shows are on there. The YouTube channel where you can find all of my tutorials and also the show is Maria's Ideas Teaches Us to Paint on YouTube and Facebook. Okay, ciao.